Humans have to work really hard to be human. It's really hard to be human. Cats don't have to work hard to be cats. But humans have to work really hard to be human. And there's, that's, that's funny to me. To accept the fact that human beings and human relationships are and will always be messy is, is part of it. To, to know that. I am messy, you are messy, we are messy, all of my relationships are messy. And I, we are constantly working on the skills to find order in the chaos and make it just a little less messy today. But it's always going to be messy. Willingness to allow someone to sit in mud with you is the is what it is to be human. I think it is the, it is the greatest honor. And I've been I've been thinking about this a lot lately, which is, you know, when our friends are struggling, our instinct is to rescue them, to pull them out of the mud, to fix, to fix. And if you're the one sitting in the mud when somebody attempts to fix, even if it's well-intentioned, it, it is a horrible feeling. Just don't do that. You're making it worse. And what true friendship is, is not the desire to fix or pull the friend out of the mud who you really want to see out of the mud, but it's your willingness to sit in the mud with them, to get in the mud and turn to them and, and say, this sucks. You know, and it's not fun being in the mud with them. You don't want to get in the mud with them. Um, but you choose to get in the mud with them until they're ready to say, can we get out now? But you sit there with them. And that's a friend of mine who is one of those folks. I hadn't talked to him in a while. And I called him up and be like, what are you up to? I haven't talked in a while. And he, he opened up and it was intense. And I was like, why didn't you call me? He's like, I didn't want to bother you. And the end of our, the way we ended the phone call is I said, I didn't say, I'm always here, I'll be here. You know, I took my go on sort of mentality. And the way we ended the phone call is like, listen, um, and he's, in a, he's, he's depressed and he's in a bad place. The way we ended the phone call is I said, listen, um, don't be an asshole and deny me the honor of being there for you. Like, don't, you have no right to deny me. What I have learned is that the quality of our relationships will have direct impact on the quality and ability we have to push ourselves beyond our own limits. So, um, you know, all you need is one person in your life who says, you got this, I believe in you. And you will find courage and energy to do things that you would not have had before. But more importantly, um, that person needs to also say, and if everything goes wrong, I will be there for you. And I will be there with you. And I will be in the mud with you. Um, and has the ability to say, something's wrong. I'm worried about you. Um, and I think burnout happens when you're attempting to do all of the things you see other people do and not realize that they have deep, meaningful relationships that you can't see. And you think falsely that you have to do it alone.